A few things I learned off the dribble recently, and I lean and then I end up going forward. I don't think about it, I go super quick. I'm always like straight up on the rim. You don't want to be leaning, it's a good indicator you're, you're not jumping. Yo, today I want to teach you what I learned to help my dribble dunk and go from this to this. Ah, perfect. If you're new to this channel, welcome to the dunk life where we do three things. One, maximize our energy with healthy habits. Two, channel that energy with mental awareness. And three, live our dream life. That's where we're attacking. I don't want anything less. Subscribe if you're into it and hit that notification bell because guess what? Subscriber dunks are back, boy. I'll be reviewing your dunks, so submit the video below. Let's get it! What's going on this dunk day, baby? Let's get it. Literally exactly 10 feet, if not like a tenth of an inch under. We go by the tenths of inches on this channel. A great couple weeks jumping my highest ever restarted my daily podcast so you can get in-depth training because that's the only way I can do it I got too much information I feel like I'm trying to do the hardest thing possible which is make the difficult things look effortless Come and don't jump. All right, so real quick, I'm too hype and I can't wear this thing every day or every jump, but a few things I learned off the dribble recently has been just jump with it. And I used to say just jump, but now I have to say just run. So what I mean by just jump, is not think about it too much. And when I was thinking about it too much, I was loading up like crazy like this and trying to load up because that's the mentality I have off the lob. But off the dribble, I don't need that mentality because the ball's in my hand. I need to have that mentality but not act on it. So what I mean by that is when I throw a lob, I have the mentality of loading up, but since I'm going for the ball, it keeps me in the right jumping position. But off the dribble, when I have the mentality, I forget to stay upright and I want to load up and I lean and then I end up going forwards and not using my jump. And now the other thing, that's just jump in my mindset. And the just run mindset is to jump quickly. Just go like this and just take off quick. Because when you watch me go off the backboard, I, I have a huge penultimate and I barely, I barely lower. I still lower, but it's super quick up and up the ground. Uh, down and up, super quick. So I have to remember that off the, off the dribble to just, just jump with it. Just like if I was going for a lob, I don't think about it. I go super quick and I was loading up and going a little too slow. So let's see what I got using those tips and I'll see what I feel like after this jump. I'm out of breath. Ah, perfect. I can't plan that. That's perfect. So what felt right on that jump was that I planted and I went up balance. The last couple jumps, if you saw, it felt like I was, when I finished, even though I finished and made the dunk, I felt like I was like this, which is an indicator I was a little bit leaning. I wasn't like my yams when I throw up, up which is a hard dunk for those that don't know. When I finish a lob, I'm always like straight up on the rim. You don't want to be leaning. It's a good indicator you're, you're not jumping correctly. something in life that pushes you to be your best self that's a dream you can't live without because then every moment of work is enjoyable because without that dream you're just not happy that's the type of dream i want you to go after 
Hope you enjoyed that video and please leave Tell a- Tell them to leave a comment when, when they're, that's what they want to see. Leave a, leave a comment, what you'd like, you get it. Every day that's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there.